so I need this organic liquid pesticide for common garden pests and it is something that you may easily come across it's the neem leaf and cinnamon the leaves can be easily neglected because we're used to using the oil to deter common pests but the leaves are as powerful as the seed oil if you know how to use it so in this video i want to show you how i used neem leaves and cinnamon to deter common garden pests i'll also tell you why both of them works perfectly well together neem is one of the most powerful plants you can grow especially in your home garden it repels so many garden pests like white flies, aphids, mealybug, caterpillars and the rest. I'm harvesting from my tree because I have one growing in my garden. And once in a while I do this quick and easy organic pesticide for my plants. Today I decided to add cinnamon because cinnamon also has some properties that will deter pests. So pairing the two of them would make a really strong organic pesticide for most common pests. A few days ago, I noticed that some of my pepper plants had aphids on them. Even though it's not a lot, now would be a good time to treat them so they don't spread. I also noticed that my eggplant from Three years ago, I've had this eggplant sitting in this pot, producing, fruiting, year in, year out. So I noticed a few pests on it. My pepper plant from last year as well, we will be getting some of the organic pesticide we will be making. So after harvesting a bunch of neem leaves from my neem tree, I'm not going to cut it into pieces. What I will do is fold it because I want to keep the stems intact. The stem is also part of what will make up this organic pesticide. Every part of the neem plant is very important from the bark to the roots to the stems and then the leaves. For this bunch of neem leaves, we're going to be using four liters of water. While we prepare this pesticide, more like fermenting all the ingredients that we're going to use, let me share the benefits of using neem leaves as an organic pesticide for common pests in your garden. Neem leaves contain a natural compound that disrupts the growth and reproduction of over 200 insect species, including aphids, white flies, mealybug, leaf miners, cabbage worm, spider mite, and a whole lot of. Using neem leaves as pesticide is also safe for beneficial insects, unlike the chemical pesticide. Neem doesn't harm beneficial insects like bees, ladybugs, and butterfly. Except you're aiming directly at the bee or the butterfly. Using neem leaves will help control fungal issues like powdery mildew, black spots in, like I saw some black spots on my pepper plant, rust, root rot causing bacteria when used in the soil. So this special blend can also be used in the soil to prevent root rot causing bacteria. Neem leaf pesticide, especially if you're fermenting it, introduces microbes that helps improve soil structure and suppress harmful soil borne pathogens. And the best part is the compounding neem leaves doesn't just repel best but interrupts the molting process in lava preventing them from reaching maturity and reproducing using neem leaves as pesticide is one of the easiest and most affordable homemade pesticide 
if you have the neem tree like I do in my garden, using the leaves is a zero cost, highly effective solution. And when you combine it with something like cinnamon, you get a boost most gardeners overlook. Cinnamon is not just to be used in the kitchen, it also has strong antifungal and active bacterial properties, just like neem leaves. I hope I already mentioned that in the benefits of using neem leaves. Cinnamon will also help prevent powdery mildew, but what makes it great for pest control is its spicy scent and bitter oils. Many insects can't stand it. This is why it pairs beautifully with neem leaves to create a more effective garden spray. Then I loosely covered it and placed it in a shaded spot to ferment for 2-3 to three days. As it ferments daily, I'm stirring as well. This is the day after. The gentle fermentation process helps extract active compounds and encourages beneficial microbes that are good for the soil and plants. This is the second day. One of the reasons why I love this combo is because it doesn't stink. If you're fermenting just neem leaves to use as organic pesticide, it is going to stink. But adding cinnamon just gives it that sweet smell. After two to three days, your homemade organic pesticide is ready to use. So you can just take the quantity that you need at the moment and keep the rest to continue fermenting. The longer it ferments, the stronger it is. We are going to sieve all of that debris because we do not want it in our spray bottle. So you do not want to use this neem and cinnamon solution directly on your plant. You have to dilute it. So because we have only fermented this for about three days, we will be using one part water to one part the cinnamon and neem leaf solution. After pouring into a spray bottle, of course diluting, then it is time to spray the solution on your plant. Spray on the leaves, under the leaves and even on the soil if needed. Now you do not want to spray the solution when the sun is out. You need to spray early in the morning or in the evening when the sun is soft. You can use this spray on green vegetables, herbs, fruiting plants like your peppers, your tomatoes. You can use it on eggplants and on ornamentals as well, anywhere pest shows up. It is totally safe to use. Since I started using this combo in my garden, pest problems have reduced dramatically. What I love the most about this pesticide is it doesn't harm the good bugs and as you spray on the leaves, as you're using it as pesticide, it is also feeding your plants in the process because your leaves are taking up some of that nutrients from the neem leaves and using it to grow. So it supports plant health, repels unwanted pests and feeds the soil gently with every spray. So there are a few things to keep in mind while using this spray. Always test your spray on a few leaves first. 
especially if you've fermented for a long time make sure you don't end up burning your plants avoid using this spray during the hottest part of the day reapply this solution every three to seven days or after every heavy rain remember not to throw away the leftover leaves and cinnamon add them to your compost this combo adds to a healthy garden ecosystem. You don't need any type of chemical to protect your plants. Neem and cinnamon are two natural gifts that can work together to keep your garden thriving.